These are stressful times right now, especially for the world's seafarers. Here are five things the industry can do to help now. The first thing is to recognize that seafarers are under immense stress right now. Seafarers have always had a demanding job at the very pointy end of our industry. A recent study by the ITF and Yale University showed that 20 to 25 percent of seafarers suffered from anxiety or depression and that 20 percent had had recent thoughts of suicide. And that was months before the advent of COVID-19. The same study showed that rates of accidents and illness doubled when seafarers were anxious or depressed. And what do you think was the number one cause correlating with feelings of depression? It was an unexpected extension of a voyage or contract. Unfortunately, as we all know, many voyages right now are being forcibly extended due to crew replacement problems caused by COVID-19. Yes, many people are trying to solve that problem, but it is likely that today's seafarers have never been more stressed than they are now. Awareness of a problem is always the first step in fixing it. The second thing is to prioritize seafarer mental wellness. Caring for seafarers works best when it is prioritized from the top. There are a lot of great resources out there for owners to help their crews, but it's important that the crew know where to find these materials and are allowed to access these materials without shame or fear of being stigmatized. These resources include online advice and guidelines, as well as even online confidential counseling. Apparently over 25% of seafarers never reach out for help, which is a problem we need to fix. We have listed on our website, as well as at the end of this video, a number of very useful resources, and we encourage you to check them out. Number three is to encourage seafarers to connect on board. Social activities can be a great way to boost morale. Crews could elect a social head who would then arrange appropriate social events. In addition, seafarers can keep an eye out for any of their colleagues who might have problems. They can then be a frontline source of support for them. The research shows that talking saves lives and asking what's on your mind can make a real difference. Number four is to educate seafarers on the best practices for COVID-19. Look, most of us needed to be reminded on how to wash our hands after COVID-19. Same thing with social distancing and other best practices. Seafarers are no different and owners can help their crew and their staff get up to speed if they haven't already. They can do this by providing guidelines and posters on these best practices. This can include food preparation from the ICS, how to wash your hands from the WHO, as well as how to handle and wear PPE and interacting safely with any visitors. Just knowing that you are doing a good job to protect yourself and to protect others can somewhat ease the anxiety of the pandemic. Number five is to consult experts and listen to seafarers. One study has suggested that our industry is very quick to consult experts, but often fails to ask seafarers directly what might improve their mental well-being. Look, we all want to have a say in our own lives and we all have ideas on what might make our lives better. We also want to feel cared for and respected. It is therefore important to consult seafarers directly. They may feel better just for having been asked and included in the process, and their answers may lead to very practical, real improvements. <laughs>